Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state, plus a portion of... This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Yates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Rock Energy in Fort Yates. Call them at 701 854 7471. Rock Energy, proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Stop in to Hagel Service before or after the game to gas up your vehicle and grab all the snacks you're going to need. You'll find cold and microwavable sandwiches, candy, soda, seeds, chips, and all sorts of other drinks. Hagel Service in Fort Yates, a proud supporter of all surrounding community youth athletics and activities. Hagel Service, family owned since 2007. Stop in, gas up, and grab those snacks. Build your brighter future, future. Oh, at Sitting Bull College. Jumpstart your career at Sitting Bull College. Choose from three masters, nine bachelors, and 15 associate's degrees, plus eight certificate programs that could be completed in 12 months or less. Ask about their Build Your Brighter Future scholarship. For information, visit citybull.edu. Build your brighter future, oh, at Sitting Bull College. Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something in common. The desire to maximize their land and improve it for the next generation. You need a cooperative that offers peace of mind. Agtegra Cooperative is an ag partner that shares your values and is part of your community. From agronomy and grain operations to energy and feed, Agtegra will link your farm to the future. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, 
referral services, and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Circle of Life Home Care is a Native American-specific home care agency providing a range of services on the Standing Rock, Cheyenne River, Pine Ridge, and Rosebud Reservations. They're committed to providing culturally sensitive care to Native American populations throughout North Dakota and South Dakota on and off the reservation. Circle of Life takes great care in identifying the needs of our Native Americans and addressing their concerns with sensitivity and compassion. Circle of Life, honoring those we serve. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Game, Fish, and Wildlife of Standing Rock Reservation are here to protect all of our animals so they can maintain a good environment. We also promote a healthy population for all our wildlife for today and tomorrow and for all our future generations. Hunting and fishing is a huge part of our area. We want everyone to be able to come here and enjoy our reservation for its beauty and wildlife. Standing Rock, Game, Fish, and Wildlife are supporters of Standing Rock Reservation and surrounding communities, sports, and activities. From the office of Standing Rock Sanitation Service and Team, they'd like to wish everyone a great day. Give them a call for all your waste needs, whether it is household collection or bulk roll-off containers for household waste, renovation, or just general cleanup. Give them a call at 605-823-4140. Standing Rock Sanitation Service is a proud supporter of all Standing Rock and surrounding area youth athletics and activities. Call them at 605-823-4140. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Yates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post-game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Rock Energy in Fort Yates. Call them at 701-854-7471. Rock Energy, proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. The innocence of youth. 
Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling. Good evening, good evening. We're going to let you catch up with the uh, starting lineups here. We just had the uh, Shire Review Lady Braves and now the Lady Mustangs. flag song.
thank you for your continued dedication to the sports you all fishing. All right, so for the men and women in the stripe, the shot collars are Myron, Lexi, you, Cerro, and of course, Steve Dupree. Hello, 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 hello. Might be too loud. Are we too loud? Are we good? We sound good. We sound good? Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Basketball night on a Monday evening just underway. An old District 12 matchup. McLaughlin hosting the Shiny Butte Lady Braves. McLaughlin and the Lady Mustangs had the ball first. Shot from the wing is no good. Loose ball stripped away and stolen. Sandy Steele with the steal. And two points. Lady Mustangs are on the board first. 2-0. Lady Braves with the basketball. Knocked away and stolen once again. Mustangs on the run down the floor. Taylor scares the hawk at the rim. Shot rolled off. No good. Ball back to the Lady Ray. We'll get you the starting lineups here. If you didn't catch them, that they were being announced down there. Ooh, look at that. Little step through, little Euro style. Blake Thompson lays it up and in. Four points now for the Lady Mustangs. The Lady Mustangs have rattled off six in a row. Six wins in a row since La Cotter Nation, where they uh, played in the semifinal, or they played in uh, the Summit Arena and lost that game to the La Cotter Tech. Lady Buffalo. Tautunkas. Shouldn't say lady. They're the Tuckunkas down there in Lakota Tech. But since then, rattled off six in a row. Looking for seven. Lady Ray said, hold on, wait a minute. Let's put a steal in it. All the way to the rim, laid over the left hand. And that was two points right there for the Lady Braves. Tiana Johnson lays it up and in. And say hello to Marissa Lonsrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With the, uh, I have to ask people from the other school whenever they come to visit. It's important to make sure we get the pronunciations correctly. We don't want to be uh, saying the names wrong because it's important. We want to get it right. So thank you, Melissa, Marissa. See, I already messed up your name already, Mar <laughs> Marissa, <laughs> for helping me with the uh, pronunciation of these ladies. From Eagle Butte. Mustangs had the ball a couple times, a couple opportunities. Shot rolled off, and the Braves gather up the loose ball, and they're going to bring it down the floor. Across half court, number 10 with the basketball. Buffalo Helfred lost the handle. That will be an over and back. So for the Lady Braves, starting with uh, Tommy Moran, number 5, number 10, Mariah Buffalo Helfred, uh, number 12, Tiana Johnson. She scored that lone bucket there. 15 is Jalen Knife, and number 25, uh, K. Lonnie Johnson. Four to two right now is the score. Thanks for tuning in and coming along with us. Shout out KLND Radio. Johnny at the station holding it down, putting us into infinity mode as we are connected live on 100,000 watts of radio power on your FM dial on the 89.5 Little Eagle, South Dakota. We have a whistle and a foul. Going to go against the Braves. At the free throw line now for McLaughlin, Mari Jo. Her first free throws up and in. That foul called on number five, uh, Tommy Moran. So the Lady Mustangs will start like this. Number 25, Sandy Steele. Second free throw on the way. No good. Loose ball pulled down by Kimmy Jo, number 20. And that's number 12 with the basketball. That's Taylor scares the hawk. Going to hand off to Blake Thompson, number 21. They're going to work the perimeter a bit here. Look to the post up. And a nice pass from the corner, feeding the post. That was Kimmy Joe finding Mari Joe. So Lady Mustangs have number 21, Blake Thompson, number 24, Mari Joe Richards, and number 25, Sandy Steele. So Kimmy White Mountain, number 20 as well. I'll make sure I want to get her name up there. And I believe I got everybody who's out there.
Hayes Thang's got six on the board, six to two. Shot from the top of the key on the way. There's that girl right there, banging away from three-point land. Knocks it down, makes it nine to two, and we've got a timeout on the floor. Our first timeout of the ball game looks like uh, Lady Braves want to talk it over. We'll take the timeout with them, and we're going to be back here in 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds. And productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Stop in to Hagel Service before or after the game to gas up your vehicle and grab all the snacks you're going to need. You'll find cold and microwavable sandwiches, candy, soda, seeds, chips, and all sorts of other drinks. Hagel Service in Fort Yates, a proud supporter of all surrounding community youth athletics and activities. Hagel Service, family owned since 2007. Stop in, gas up, and grab. Welcome back out of this timeout. Lady Braves now with the basketball. Out of the huddle, call to play. Before they can get into it, there's a double dribble right there and a turnover. Give the ball back to McLaughlin. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. 4.34 to go here in this first quarter. Lady Mustangs, nine. Lady Braves from Cheyenne River, Cheyenne Eagle Butte. They got two on the board. Mustangs work in the perimeter, work in the outside, looking for a post up. Post action, it's just a roll to the bucket or a flash. Sandy steal on the attack. Got fouled and she'll go back to the free throw line for McLaughlin. That's the third foul there. Third team foul for the Lady Braves. First one on the way here for Sandy. Off the back of the rim, no good. She's from Keno, so they're used to shooting at them. You know, the, the hoops are a little crooked, so she's gonna lean to the side a little bit. See, right there, see? Lean to that one side, knock it down. 10 to two. Most things on top, and they're gonna steal the ball away. Shot rolled off the rim, however. And can't much, get much more into the hoop than that right there. Got on the rim, just kind of rolled off of there. Fell off the rim, no good. 10 to two, Lady Braves with the basketball. Looking up the field, up the court. And that ball sailed out of bounds. Turnover, back to McLaughlin. 3.58 to go here in the first quarter. An old District 12A matchup. From the ages. Mari Joe in the lane. Off the glass. Count it. Good for two. 12 to two now. Lady Mustangs on top. Four points there for Mari Joe. Another turnover for the Lady Braves. Quickly down the floor. Taylor pressing the issue. He's going to find Kimmy Joe and Kimmy. Wow. What a cut. For Kimmy, drew the defense, and that led a wide open lane for Mari Jo. Mari went off the glass, got fouled. She's at the free throw line now in the act of shooting. Playing the angles. Playing the angles right there. Finding the opening, draw the defense, give up the basketball. Involve your teammates. You go a long, long way doing that. Pick the defense apart. That was a beautiful, beautiful setup. Good play there for McLaughlin. 14 to 12, 328 to go here in this first. Free throw on the way up and good for Mari Joe. Seven points now for Mari. 15 on the board now for McLaughlin. Lady Braves in the corner with the basketball. It rolled out of bounds. Turnover. 3.20 to go here in the first. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, hello, everybody tuned in out there in KL and the listening land. I think my mom is tuned in out there somewhere. Hello, mom. Mark Joe, spinning away from the defense. Shot no good. Got her own rebound. The putback is off the mark. Loose ball to the Braves. Braves on the rump. Down the floor. Little weave. 
Going to slow it down, bring it back to the top. Johnson looking for a cutting uh, Moran. And the ball batted away. Picked up by the Lady Mustangs. Into the ball game now. Frankie and Jesse. The outlaws for McLaughlin. Jesse bombs away. Three ball on the way up the no good. Loose ball pulled down by Mari Joe. Save back inbounds. Lady Mustangs, new shot clock. Steal. Oh, man, what a fine. Good pass. Drive hard to the rim. A bit too strong at the rim. Shot rolled off. No good. Johnson on the run down the floor. Going to run over the top. Of Frankie Arshamble. They're going to call a foul here on Frankie and send number 12 to the free throw line for the Lady Braves, Tiana Johnson. 2.22 to go here in this first quarter. Lady Mustangs, 15. Lady Braves looking to add to that two. First one on the way, no good. Six games McLaughlin has won. They've traveled. All over Timbuktu and in between. And they're back home tonight. Second free throw is off the mark. No good. 15 to 2. Jesse with the basketball. And now Kimmy back to Jesse. Two minutes to go. A drive down the lane. Sandy was looking to the corner for the pass. And that ball sailed out of bounds. And that will be... A timeout on the floor? Full timeout, yep. Full timeout on the floor. We'll be back here in one minute. In one minute. Those snacks. Build your brighter future. Jumpstart your career at Sitting Bull College. Choose from three masters, nine bachelors, and 15 associate's degrees, plus eight certificate programs that can be completed in 12 months or less. Ask about their Build Your Brighter Future scholarship. For information, visit citybull.edu. Build your brighter future at Sitting Bull College. Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something in common the desire to maximize their land and improve it for the next generation. You need a cooperative that offers peace of mind. Agtegra Cooperative is an ag partner that shares your values and is part of your community. From agronomy and grain operations to energy and feed, Agtegra will link your farm to the future. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable. Cold. <laughs> Curled up with a cactus. <laughs> Curled up with a cactus down there. We're back to action. Lady Braves with the basketball. Going to substitute uh, number 41 into the ball game. Jewel White into the ball game. Once again, shout out to Marissa Laundrie. Thank you. For the help with the pronunciation. I would have messed all these names up. You would have. <laughs> I should have told you what I thought they sounded like. We got to stop in the answer. I should have told you what I thought they sounded like. And then had you laugh at me. <laughs> but that's why you ask. That's why you ask. You want to make sure you ask all the time. Mustangs with the basketball. Looking to the high post. And Kimmy Joe lost the handle. Ball wound up. Ball wound up on her hip. It's a travel. Get the ball back to the Braves. Here come the Lady Braves now. Mendoza into the ball game number 14. Had it for a moment. Lost the handle. Mustangs down the floor now. Frankie up ahead. Jesse sets her feet. She's going to let it fly. She is a shooter for McLaughlin. Got to be confident with that thing. And she can knock him down. Lady Braves back the other way with the basketball. Buffalo Halfred, number 10. Mariah. Going to kick it back to the top with Johnson. Tiana down the lane. Oh, nice move. Shot on the way. Off the mark. No good. Under a minute to go. Clock winding down. Mustangs with the basketball. Hello, everybody tuned in. If you're tuned in down there in Shine River, 
instead of listening to that other station, those one guys, hey, shot from the top of the key, up and no good for Frankie. Loose ball track down by Sandy Steele, and we have a whistle and a foul. You know what I really like about uh, Eagle Butte when you go to the Eagle, to the Eagle Stop? Is that what it's called down there? With the Dairy Queen and the Taco John? I really like the old A's over there. I'm mean, gonna put the extra love into the old A's, man. I'll go down there and just for the old A's. I'm gonna come over there and get a large old A with all the love and a big cheese. And you know that cup of cheese? Yeah. First free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Loose ball track down. 35 seconds winding down. Mustang is gonna reset. Frankie and Jesse. Sandy, bounce pass, looking inside, going to find Kimmy Joe. Attacking the rim, her shot was sent back. Get that stuff out of here. Not here, not right now, she said. 25 seconds winding down. Mustangs with the ball in the corner. Sandy launching a three from the wing. It's off the mark, no good. And out of bounds. Lady Marie's basketball, Mendoza will inbound. You got Johnson, and she'll come and get it. That's Buffalo Halford. Telling her, hustle, get it down the floor. Pass just out of the reach of fighting. That's a turnover. Mustangs quickly back. And they give it right back to the Braves. Three seconds. Braves on the run to the rim. Shot rolled off. No good. And that's how this first quarter will end. We'll be back in one minute. Lady Mustangs, 15. Lady Braves got two on the board. We'll be right back here in about a minute. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services, and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Circle of Life Home Care is a Native American-specific home care agency providing a range of services on the Standing Rock, Cheyenne River, Pine Ridge, and Rosebud Reservations. They're committed to providing culturally sensitive care to Native American populations throughout North Dakota and South Dakota on and off the reservation. Circle of Life takes great care in identifying the needs of our Native Americans and addressing their concerns with sensitivity and compassion. Circle of Life, honoring those we serve. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over... Hey, welcome back out of that timeout between the quarter breaks. Lady Mustangs 15. Lady Ray's got two on the board. Substitution in the game, number 25, Kaylani Johnson. Along with number 15, Jalen Knife. And number 11 on the board. On the field or the court as well. Anisha Hayes is out there with number 12. Tiana Johnson looking to the post. That's a nice move for Moran. A bit too strong at the rim, however. Shot rolled off. No good. Just underway here in the second quarter. Live from McLaughlin High School. Thanks for tuning in. Jonathan Sam. My boy Brooks running the camera. And DJ Paul. DJ Paul Google style. On the music, on the ones and twos. Okay. Lady Braves with the basketball. Gonna bring it back to the top. Had a drive underneath. Saved it back in bounds. Gonna reset. Jumper from the wing. Sent back by Mari Joe. Jalen Knife. Did not see Mari Joe. Creep in the low, and then she just kind of sprung into action. Shot from the wing, up and good. Hey, the bank is open for Blake Thompson. Eight points for her, two for three point land. 18 to two now. Kimmy Joe will check out 
Laney's back in. Lakitha Weasel into the ball game now for McLaughlin, number 33. And she's got the rock right now, bringing it across. Swing it to the left side. Thompson, Blake is open once again. She'll let it fly. And that ball is out of bounds. Going to be last touched by the uh, Lady Braves on the rebound. Blake will inbound, going to find Taylor. And now Lakitha back to the wing. Nice find underneath. Look at the spin move. Mari Joe, everything but the spin. Beautiful pass. Ball saved, stolen and bounce saved right to Mari Joe. She'll drive and take it strong to the cup. Count it. Nine points now for Mari Joe. Two more for McLaughlin, 20 on the board. Lady Braves at the rim, shot rolled off, no good. Four, number 25, Johnson. 5.40 to go, clock winding down. Lakeitha Weasel gonna hand off to Blake Thompson. She's gonna step underneath the defense, shot on the way, no good, rebound. Knife in the Braves, pass up ahead. Johnson now with the basketball. Pick it over the top of the defense, gonna find an open look for Moran. A long two. Correction, that was Halfred. Buffalo Halfred, good for two. Makes it 20 to four. Mari Joe got free once again in the lane. Mari Joe having her way in that lane right now. Count the bucket. Count the bucket and a free throw coming. They're going to call that foul there on Knife. Free throw on the way up and good. 12 points now for Mari Joe. 23 on the board now for McLaughlin. 5.06 to go here in this first half. Lady Braves are sending substitution in the game. Trying to figure some things out on the run. Johnson, Euro style to the cup. That shot too strong, rebound. Right back into the hands of the Lady Braves. Number five, Moran had that ball stripped away. Still Braves basketball. Looking for the post right there. Ball batted away from number 14. Uh, Mendoza and now Blake Thompson Lady Brown Otter shot blocked that time by the Braves ball got right back to the hands of the Lady Mustangs Lady Mustangs with the quick hands and the passing beautiful sharing of the basketball Lady Brown Otter two points for McLaughlin 25 on the board now for McLaughlin Lady Braves got four on the board. A whistle and a foul that time on Laney Brown Otter. Lady Braves looking over the top, looking to the post of Mendoza. That ball gobbled up quickly by the defense of McLaughlin. Mustangs down the floor with Thompson in the corner. Brown Otter. And now Mari Joe Richard. Going to bring it back to the top. Going to reset. 20 on the shot clock. Lakitha Weasel launching three ball. No good. Rebound Moran and she'll bring it down the floor. And handoff to number 12, Johnson. And she'll have that ball picked away. Lakitha Weasel on the run down the floor. Blake Thompson gliding to the rim. Yo! Walking on air a little bit. Blake Thompson. 27 to 4 now. Mari Joe is going to get called for a foul here. She got caught high up into the air. Her forehead scraped the roof of the building. Way up there. Her eyebrows got touched. Way up. See right there? One eyebrow made a mark up there. And the rafter. See? No? Okay. We're back to action. Lady Braves with the basketball on the inbound. Knife ball stripped away on the run. Frankie. They're going to take that ball right back from Frankie in the defense. Going to swarm the basketball. Nearly stole it away. 
Bray's got an open look. And those are at the rim. Shot rolled off, no good. Mustangs quickly back down the floor. Thompson, little no look, gonna find Sandy Steele. Wow. Hit her with the no look. 29 to four. Magic Johnson style, little no look. Little hee <laughs> hee, look this way and the ball, oh man, the ball was going the other way. Jeez, we got a whistle and a foul, however, and the Mustangs are gonna send number five to the free throw line, Tommy Moran for the Lady Braves. 2.54 to go here in this first half. Lady Mustangs rolling. They got control right here and right now. They are rumbling. Free throws up and good for number five, Tommy Moran. Said Sonny Bauman checking in? Yep, okay. Sonny Bauman into the ball game now for the Lady Braves. 2.50 to go here in this first half. That second free throw is off the mark, no good. Thompson looking inside for Kimmy. Shot from the top of the key is on the way up and good for Frankie Archambault. Good for three. 32 to five right now on turnover. He'll give the ball back to McLaughlin. Lady Mustangs tweak the defense a little bit. Over the summer and in, in the early going of the season, they said, hey, we're gonna play it this way. Play it this style. Little up tempo. We're gonna attack the ball. And it has been paying off. We have a turnover. That ball out of bounds. Last touch by McLaughlin. Is any good coach? Coach Mike, good, good coach for McLaughlin. Tweaking on the run. Not satisfied in any way shape or form always fixing always working he's got the girls lined up really really well right now 32 to 5 2 10 to go here in this first half mustangs will get the ball back way back in the day this was you guys have district 12 was it District 12A back then when you're? Yeah. So it was Eagle Butte, Mulbridge, McLaughlin, and Lemon. Yeah. Anytime these teams kind of rolled in together, place was packed. Everybody's looking at each other mean. Their little eyebrows are scrunched together. Look, sitting over. I'm Eagle Butte. I'm over here. I'm from McLaughlin. I'm over here. <laughs> that was it. Like everybody's just fired up and coming out and supporting their team. It goes back way back, about a thousand years. Them dinosaurs used to run up and down the floor. I'm a brave and I'm a Mustang midget. Not that long. Mustangs will get the ball back on the inbound. Blake Thompson launching a three. That's no good. Rebound. Jesse Brownouter. Gonna find Blake, and Blake is gonna find an open look for Kimmy Joel. But Kimmy Joel got tied up. What do you call it, jump ball? No, they're gonna call a foul. Took a while before he figured it out. I call that one on Johnson, it looks like. He's kind of waiting for Mr. Referee. I think he was looking for the number. What did I call it on? One of them. Kimmy Joe, first free throw off the glass. It's good. 33 to five now. Second free throw on the way here for Kimmy. That one's off the mark, no good. Loose ball tracked down by Blake Thompson and the Mustangs will get it back. 30 on the shot clock. Mustangs work the ball around the perimeter. Drive the baseline, looking for an open look. There's an open look right there. Jesse launching a three. It's on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Twight. She's in trouble. Ball tipped away, stolen. However, 
turnover. Ball back to the Lady Braves. Kimmy Joe is going under the hoop with the layup. And locks it. But it was knocked away, they say. Jumper from the wing on the way up and good. Sandy Steele. Good for three. Sandy Steele. Pushing the lead to 36 points on the board now for McLaughlin. 36 to five. That's a whole bunch of points to be putting on the board in the first half. The Mustangs defending the post. First shot, no good. Second shot, defended. And we'll have a whistle and a foul. That'll go against Sandy Steele. We'll send number 24 to the free throw line. Uh, Sonny Bauman. First one on the way. Good. For Sonny. Second one on the way. That one's there as well. 36 to 7 now. Sonny Bauman, good for two from the free throw line. Mustangs now with the basketball. 38 seconds winding down. Frankie launching a three. It's up and no good rebound. Twight. And we have that ball stripped away from the backside by Sandy Steele. They're going to leave her alone. She'll let it fly. Sandy feeling it. Knocks down the three with a smile. 39 to 7. Mustangs. 10 seconds winding down. Looking to the post. Ball knocked away by Blake. And out of bounds still. Uh, Braves basketball. 7.1 to go. Here in this first half. The inbound is going to be out of the reach of Johnson. And it'll be... Lady Mustang basketball. Yeah, where they threw it in. It wasn't touched, so it should be yep, right over here. 6.7 to go. Hello, 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 hello. Thanks for tuning in. Mustangs, 39. Lady Bray's got seven on the board. Blake Thompson going to put a capper on this first half. Good from three-point land makes it 42 to 7. We're going to be back here. It is halftime now. Let's see how much they put up there. Is it 15 or 10? Yep, they got 10 on the board. We're going to be back here in 10 minutes, guys. Thanks for tuning in. 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs. There's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Game, Fish, and Wildlife of Standing Rock Reservation are here to protect all of our animals so they can maintain a good environment. We also promote a healthy population for all our wildlife for today and tomorrow and for all our future generations. Hunting and fishing is a huge part of our area. We want everyone to be able to come here and enjoy our reservation for its beauty and wildlife. Standing Rock Game, Fish and Wildlife are supporters of Standing Rock Reservation and surrounding communities, sports and activities. From the Office of Standing Rock Sanitation Service and Team, they'd like to wish everyone a great day. Give them a call for all your waste needs, whether it is household collection or bulk roll-off containers for household waste, renovation, or just general cleanup. Give them a call at 605-823-4140. Standing Rock Sanitation Service is a proud supporter of all Standing Rock and surrounding area youth athletics and activities. Call them at 605-823-4140. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. 
Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Yates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post-game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Rock Energy in Fort Yates. Call them at 701-854-7471. Rock Energy. Proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. day. Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Stop in to Hagel Service before or after the game to gas up your vehicle and grab all the snacks you're going to need. You'll find cold and microwavable sandwiches, candy, soda, seeds, chips, and all sorts of other drinks. Hagel Service in Fort Yates, a proud supporter of all surrounding community youth athletics and activities. Hagel Service, family owned since 2007. Stop in, gas up, and grab those snacks. Build your brighter future oh, at Sitting Bull College. Jumpstart your career at Sitting Bull College. Choose from three masters, nine bachelors, and 15 associate's degrees, plus eight certificate programs that can be completed in 12 months or less. Ask about their Build Your Brighter Future scholarship. For information, visit citybull.edu. Build your brighter future. 
Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something in common. The desire to maximize their land and improve it for the next generation. You need a cooperative that offers peace of mind. Agtegra Cooperative is an ag partner that shares your values and is part of your community. From agronomy and grain operations to energy and feed, Agtegra will link your farm to the future. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Circle of Life Home Care is a Native American specific home care agency providing a range of services on the Standing Rock, Cheyenne River, Pine Ridge, and Rosebud Reservations. They're committed to providing culturally sensitive care to Native American populations throughout North Dakota and South Dakota on and off the reservation. Circle of Life takes great care in identifying the needs of our Native Americans and addressing their concerns with sensitivity and compassion. Circle of Life, honoring those we serve. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Game, Fish, and Wildlife of Standing Rock Reservation are here to protect all of our animals so they can maintain a good environment. We also promote a healthy population for all our wildlife for today and tomorrow and for all our future generations. Hunting and fishing is a huge part of our area. We want everyone to be able to come here and enjoy our reservation for its beauty and wildlife. Standing Rock Game, Fish, and Wildlife are supporters of Standing Rock Reservation and surrounding communities, sports, and activities. From the Office of Standing Rock Sanitation Service and Team, they'd like to wish everyone a great day. Give them a call for all your waste needs, whether it is household collection or bulk roll-off containers for household waste, renovation, or just general cleanup. Give them a call at 605-823-4140. Standing Rock Sanitation Service is a proud supporter of all Standing Rock and surrounding area youth athletics and activities. Call them at 605-823-4140. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Second half coming at you. We've got some new players on the floor now for McLaughlin. They got number five out there. Number five for McLaughlin is Dory White Eyes, along with number 41, uh, Malia Hashorns. Uh, Lakita Weasel, number 33, guarding the basketball right now. Shot on the wing, up and no good for the Braves. Rebound by Knife. Jumper from the wing. That won't fall either for Kehlani Johnson. Number five is out there. I said Dory White. Dory White Eyes already. And there's a pickup of the loose ball. And the putback is good for number 12, Tiana Johnson. She's got four now in the contest. Nine on the board now for the Lady Braves. Lady Mustang is going to turn the ball over. Malia has horns. Pass a bit too strong and sails out of bounds. Also up there for McLaughlin, number 40 is Danica White. Who did I miss? Missing somebody. Number five, did I say her? Dory White, I said her. Number zero, Michelle has horns. Yeah, I said her. Number 41, Malia has horns. Michelle and Malia, number 41 and number zero. Okay, got them. Who else is out there? 
for the Lady Braves. Number 20 at the free throw line. Number 25 is Kaylani Johnson. First one on the way up and good. Second one on the way here. That one's there as well. 42 to 11 now. Both free throws are good. Lakita into the lane, shot from the wing. Found an open look for number five, Dory White Eyes for McLaughlin. That shot was up and off the mark. No good. Loose ball. Knocked away and out of bounds. Gonna be last touch by the Braves. Give it back to McLaughlin. They got number five out there is Tommy Rand. Number 15 is out there, uh, Jalen Knight. Number 10, Maria Buffalo Halford. Shot from the wing is up and no good. Rebound into the hands of Tana Johnson. Racing down the floor, all the way to the rim. Shot rolled off, no good. But we're going to have a foul, it looks like. Call that one on Lakitho. Call that one on Weasel. Johnson's free throw on the way up and off the back of the rim. No good. 5.49 to go. Second free throw rolls off. No good. Rebound has horn. Malia has horn. Malia and Michelle Hashorn exchanging the basketball. And now Lakitha Weasel launching from three-point land, knocking down a three, count it for her. 45 to 11. 519 to go here in the third quarter. Knife. Who's gonna find Johnson open on the baseline? The drive is up no good to put back will be disrupted and there'll be a foul call. We'll send number 15 to the free throw line for Lady Brace, Jalen Knight. You know what else I like down there in, in Eagle Butte at the Taco John? Um, the, the Super Burrito. I always get the Super Burrito and they put, uh, they put the onions in there. I don't know what you got going on with them onions down there. They must come off the commod truck first or something, man. Them onions is real. They're good. Good, good stuff. Second free throw, no good. 45 to 11. Five minutes to go. Here in this third quarter. Mustangs now. Malia has horns. Going to find Michelle in the corner. Dory White Eyes back to the top with Weasel. Hashorn, skip pass across the defense. Michelle. Hashorn's and the Mustang is going to turn it over. And give it back to you. Lady Bray. 425 to go in the third quarter. New Lady Mustang in the, the game. Tashina One Feather checking in for McLaughlin. 4.15 to go, clock winding down. Lady Braves with the basketball running. Their offense got an open look in the paint. Nice find. Kaylani Johnson's got four points now. Free throw is up and good. I mean, uh, shot at the rim is up and good. 45-13. She got free in the lane is what I was trying to say. Travel violation on McLaughlin. Get the ball back to the Lady Brave. We have a tackle about midcourt. Call that one on number 32, Tashina One Feather. <laughs> Hit the air brakes. They weren't working. Well, for those of you 
313 to go here in the third. 45-13 is the score. Bonus situation now for the Lady Braves. First one up and no good for number 10, Mariah Buffalo Halford. She's got two in the contest. Looking for three. That one rattles around, falls into the bucket. And good. 45-14 now. Mishandling of the rock. They're going to give that ball back to the Braves. 2.59 to go in the third, 45-14. Mustangs on top. Going to pass over the top of the defense and find an open look underneath for Kaylani Johnson. She's got six now. 45-16. Weasel. I think that was a pass. One Feather will try the three. Hey! Toshino One Feather. Way out there. Standing on top of Elkhorn, man. Knocked that one down. 2.15 to go. 48 16. Shot from the wing on the way up and no good. And a rebound pulled down by Danica. White in the Mustangs. One feather feeling it, lets it fly once again. Shot that one like uh, just a bit off to the right side. Just a bit. 45 to go. Jump around the way up and short for Johnson. She couldn't believe it. Looking at the cheer squad. What? 124 to go. Are you for real? We'll keep the weasel. Fade away for three. That's no good. Rebound. The putback for Hashorns. That rolls off no good. Loose ball is going to be picked up by Johnson. And now quickly down the floor. Got to the rim. Kayana. Six points for her. Layup is good. 48-18. Under a minute to go. Clock winding down. And it's going to be uh, Braves basketball. 40 seconds winding down. 48-18 is the score. Lady Braves with the basketball. Johnson will inbound. Going to find Buffalo Halford. Jumper for her from the free throw line. Who's up and good. Five points for her. 48-20 now. 20 seconds winding down. Lakeith the Weasel. Shot from the top of the key. Wants a three. It's up and no good. And the rebound pulled down by Knife. And we'll have a whistle and a foul here on the rebound. That's a continuous clock. So we're going to head to the uh, end of the third quarter. Do they stop it? They did. Okay, they stopped the clock to go shoot the free throws. Knife at the free throw line now for Eagle Butte. Looking for her first points of the game of the, game, of the contest of the evening. First one off the mark. Another one on the way here. That one off the back of the rim. And the ball out of bounds will end the quarter. I believe. Yep, they're going to end this quarter right here. Head to the fourth quarter. Lady Mustangs, 48. Lady Ray has got 20 on the board. We'll be right back here in one minute for the fourth quarter. Money, are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Todd Sandal today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. 
This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Gates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Hey, welcome back out of the timeout. They're going to send the uh, starters back onto the floor. Sandy Steele launching the three. Wasting no time and knocking down her third three of the contest. Fourteen points now for Sandy. And there's a steal at half court. Blake on the run to the rim. Count it for two. She's got threes from three-point land. Fourteen points total. And they're harassing the basketball at half court. <laughs> <laughs> Anisha Hayes just covered up the ball like a turtle. Just kind of <laughs> wrapped herself around it at half court. The outlet pass up ahead out of the reach of Blake. Ball back to the Lady Braves. Number 35 out there for the Lady Braves is... Hey, let me get it right here. Hold on. I wrote it weird. I want to make sure I get that name right. I looked at the thing and I wrote it weird. Say hello to my mom. Hey mom. Hello mom. Tuned in. Say hello to Forrest out there. Forrest and Lance and everybody. You guys behaving? Is it Lenny? Number 35, Lenny Anderson. And we have a shot clock violation or a backcourt 10 second violation. I'm a golf and look at this, the shot clock. It's got 24 on the board. And uh, that is a turnover. Ball back to the Braves. Hayes will handle the bot at the top, being guarded by Taylor. And they're going to call a foul here on Taylor. Steal the inbound, Taylor. Lays it up and in. Two more for her, 16 total. And there is a pile-up loose ball picked up by McLaughlin. Taylor at the rim. Two more for McLaughlin. 57 on the board now for McLaughlin. 57-20. And that's the first points of the contest for Taylor. Timeout on the floor taken by the Lady Braves. We'll be back here in one... 30 seconds, 30, we'll be back in 30. Rock Energy in Fort Yates, call them at 701-854-7471. Rock Energy, proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you 
before you to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care. Hey, welcome back out of the timeout. Bauman with the basketball, shot blocked. Mendoza with an attempt. That's off the mark. We have a whistle and a tie up for that loose ball. Possession arrow to McLaughlin. Four fifteen to go here in the fourth. Fifty-seven twenty. Mustangs with the basketball. Taylor scares the hawk, launching a three. That's no good. Mendoza will track down that loose ball. And Grace Lynn Laundry into the ball game, handling the basketball. Marissa. That's your baby girl, number 22. She's on the floor now. Into the ball game now for the Lady Braves, number 30. Lexus Lawrence into the ball game. Three fifteen to go here in the fourth quarter. Mustangs in control, fifty-seven to twenty. Hello, hello, hello! Happy New Year out there in the world, out there in the world wide web. On the FM dial, Mari Joe, good for two more for McLaughlin. Fifty-nine to twenty, and we'll have a foul call here. I call that one on Taylor. It's going to be her third. Laney Brownarder will check in. Mari Jo will check out. 225 to go. Pass to the top of the key. Going to find an open look for number 35. That was Anderson. Her shot was off the mark. And Kimmy Joe was open. Oh, she was open. One of them windmill dunk kind of things was forming. She's going to rock it back like Dr. J. Remember that, Jay? Woo! Okay, 155 to go. Clock winding down. Ball back to the Braves. Anderson with the basketball. Laundrie now. Had that ball knocked away from her. And last touch by McLaughlin. Brazel inbound. In front of their own hoop. Hayes is going to work with the basketball. Back to the corner with Laundrieu. Around the defense. The runner on the way. That's up and no good. The putback. No good and a loose ball. A scramble for it. Picked up by Laundrieu. Should be fouled and go to the free throw line. 110 to go here in this contest, 59-20. Hey, tomorrow we're going to head over to, to Wakpala. Wakpala will have a doubleheader tomorrow night over in Wakpala. They'll be hosting, I believe it's Lemon. Laundry free throw rolls around and falls into the bucket for Grace Lynn. Did you say it, Grace Lynn or Grace Lynn? How do you say it, Marissa? Hey, quit it. Free throw off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Laney. 108 to go, clock winding down. And then uh, Friday and Saturday, we'll be in uh, Standing Rock for the boys and girls action up there. And I'll get you that uh, as we wind things down here. Mustangs working the ball around the perimeter. You get you this. Looking underneath, Kimmy Joe 
Turned around into lane, shot rolled off, no good. So the, the 12th, I believe that's Friday, the 12th, will be in Fort Gates with uh, the Warriors taking on Turtle Mountain. And then the 13th, we'll go right back up there to Fort Yates, to the Thunderdome, as the Lady Braves will take on Dunseef in the 12th and 13th. We had a game on the 11th where these Lady Braves are going to come up to Fort Yates, but that game was postponed due to the in, in, uh, incoming weather. The weather is going to be bad. So On the 9th, we're going to be, uh, tomorrow we'll be in Wakabala. Uh, the 12th will be in Fort Gates as they take on, um, let me double check here. Number 12, the 12th will be Turtle Mountain. The boys will be in Nerdle Act in, in action versus Turtle Mountain. And then the girls will be in action on the 13th as they play host to the uh, Dunseith team. Is that, what are they called, Dunseith? Are they the dragons or something? That's the action for this week. So tomorrow, Wakpala, as they take on Lemon. Nothing on the 11th. They had that game postponed. Uh, and then the 12th will be up there in Fort Yates versus the boys versus Turtle Mountain for Standing Rock. And then we'll come right back up on the 13th. Uh, Saturday will be uh, the girls in action for Standing Rock taking on Dunsee. Let's run down to scoring here. The final 59-21 Lady Mustangs. Victory here at home. For the Lady Braves, six points for uh, Kehlani Johnson. Uh, two points for Sonny Bauman. A free throw for Graceland Laundrieu, six points for Tiana Johnson. Five points belong to uh, Mariah Buffalo Halford. A free throw for Tommy Moran. That should all add up to 21. Three points for Lakeitha Weasel. Three points for Tashina. Uh, one feather. One, two, three from three-point land for Sandy Steele. Hey, you got caught with a yawn. Hey. <laughs> 14 points for Sandy Steele. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 total for Mari Joe. 2 points for Laney Brown Otter. Uh, 3 for Frankie Archambault. 2 for Taylor Scarzahawk. A free throw for Kimmy Joe. And 4, Blake Thompson. 3 from 3 point land for 9, 11, 13. 15, 17 total for Blake Thompson. And that is the final McLaughlin Lady Mustangs victory here at home, 59-21. Thanks for tuning in and coming along with us once again. Tomorrow evening, we're going to head on over to Wakapala down Highway 12. They're going to host uh, Lemon in a doubleheader. And then nothing on Thursday, the 11th. They had a game scheduled for the 11th. These Braves are going to be up there at Standing Rock. They're going to they're postpone that one. They're going to play it uh, at a different time. The weather is kind of rotten coming in. So uh, they're going to play that one at a different time. They're going to have on the 12th, I believe this is still a go, Turtle Mountain. The boys will be in action at Standing Rock, and we'll be up there for that. And then the 13th, Dunseith is coming. And the Lady Braves will be taking on Dunseith. I mean, the Lady Warriors will be taking on Dunseith on the 13th. And that is the nearest action. Thanks for tuning in. You got that at the station. Johnny, you got those uh, coordinates mapped out now? Yeah. Let's see here. I'm going to check something before we head out. We like to... Um, I did here. Okay. Yeah. Um. So with that, we'll uh, we'll end the live stream here. The final McLaughlin victory, fifty-nine to twenty. And thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow evening over in Wakapala. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Johnny. At the station, KLND 89.5, Little Eagle, South